welcome to Salon Girl Gardens today. So today is part two in my seed starting video series. You want to grow a garden? Great. Come along with me. Let me show you what I'm doing. So if you watched part one of the series, we talked about sterilizing your seed starting mix. Second was I need to be able to start plants indoors and in order for me to do that I needed some grow lights and a rack and I looked online and holy cow a three tier system was running about $900 and who can afford that I can't so I go out to the garage I grabbed one of the shelving units that's been out there and I got on Amazon and bought three different systems of lights and I thought it would be kind of fun to test out which worked better. I have taken over my laundry room in my house because it's the most insulated warm room that I have and I have converted the laundry room to a grow room. So let me flip the camera over and let me show you what I've done. Ta-da! This is the grow station. This was a shelving unit that I had in my garage. I am experimenting with lights. I will link the descriptions uh, to these lights and they're linked to Amazon in the description box under the title of this video. 144 little cell packs filled with sterilized seed starting mix. I have these on um, a switch so I can just turn off the whole unit and turn it on with one flip of the switch. Let me just say the ability to grow my own plants from seed I am so excited about this. I got my seed order from In My Gardener, and we've got cabbage and purple basil. I'm really excited about the purple basil. That's so pretty. Uh, some purple peppers, some Megan peas, some Paul Roberson tomato, red lettuce. I went for a lot of reds this year. Some purple aura. Purple cauliflower, purple Brussels sprouts, some hyssop, Genovese basil, licorice basil, lime basil, which I'm really excited about, Thai basil, and now for the tomato. Pink ox heart, blueberries, Hartman's yellow gooseberry, Early Cascade, Champagne Bubbles, Floridade Tomato. I'm excited about this because it's supposed to do well in hot, humid areas. Tiny Tim Tomato. I'm excited about putting these in containers. And a Tommy Toe Tomato. Again, I'm going to do that in a container. And then we all know what Black Creme Tomato is. I majority went with In My Gardener Seeds this year only because they're very inexpensive. They're open pollinated, non-GMO heirloom. And those three things are very important to me. The, the flowers that I'm growing this year are Snapdragon, Lavender. This is from Baker Creek. Snapdragon from M.I. Gardener. And this isn't truly a flower, but it's called Grass, Tail, Grass Bunny Tails. And I, I love these. These are so cute. And they do look like little bunny tails. I have a super curious kitty walking on my seeds. So let's talk about heirloom seeds. What are they? So heirloom seeds are seeds that you're able to save. They're open pollinated and that you're able to plant in your garden the following year and still get the same true to the parent plant. Typically, heirloom varieties are 50 years and older. Lots of them are hundreds of years old, and they're just passed down. They preserve biodiversity, and they possess a lot of hardiness, disease, and pest resistance. Um, another really cool reason to start growing heirlooms is they're so interesting to look at, and they're super tasty to eat. Like Jess from Roots and Refuge says, nothing tastes like disappointment like a store-bought tomato. Basically, any store-bought vegetables or fruits tastes like disappointment to me. You're able to grow so many more 
unusual plants than what you just see at the grocery store. Do yourself a favor and get some heirloom seeds and just try it. Also, as a gardener, I cherish seed and I want to preserve my seed from plants in my garden that have done very well. I want to be able to save that seed and budget-wise, I will have all next year's flowers and vegetables taken care of from the seeds grown from plants that I saved this year. So that's what this whole grow system is about. <laughs> so I highly encourage you to try it. Can you see that? Look how teeny tiny they are. Almost like poppy seeds. Okay, now time for apple blossom snot snapdragons from Baker, Baker Creek. Aren't those pretty? So we're just gonna do this flat so we won't open all the seeds. Okay, now we're gonna do in my gardener's purple auric and it's like a spinach. It says, if you like spinach, then you will love purple auric. Well, I'm excited about this. What about you guys? I'm doing three seats per pot. And spinach is so easy to grow. I hope these are just as easy. A red Brussels sprout. <laughs> Napa cabbage. Long purple eggplant. So I forgot and I ordered heat mats last night on Amazon for the tomatoes and the peppers and the basil. They all three require heat to germinate. So I'm gonna hold off on the planting of the tomatoes, but you get the idea of how to put a seed in the cell pad. So in conclusion of today's seed starting series, I hope you come away with the confidence um, of going out and searching out some heirloom seeds. Try In My Gardener and Baker Creek. Those two, number one, In My Gardener is I think a dollar per seed packet and Baker Creek is a little bit more expensive, but quality, quality seeds that I know you won't be disappointed Just in. Just go purchase one type of seed packet. Just one to get your feet wet. Leave a comment in the section down below. Tell me what you've started already uh, this January for seeds for your garden. Or if you're not a gardener and you're just now getting into it, tell me what you're interested in maybe trying. For me, it, it just makes me so happy to grow these little seed babies into full maturity and then plant them out in my garden. And I'm doing it on a grand scale this year. So this is just the start of what's going out in the garden. These are the things that need to be started early. But I'm gonna be continuously using this grow rack um, for this year's growing season. So I'm super excited. Thank you so much um, for joining me today at Salon Girl Gardens. If you didn't see the first video in this series about sterilizing your seed starter mix, check out that one. And again, always leave a comment. I love interacting with y'all. And if you haven't, subscribed and hit the bell for notifications so you won't miss out on any more of the uh, videos that I put out. I have one last video coming out with the seeds and that'll be next week. And I hope to see you there. Have a great day.